and do you really <clears throat> not always need to help yourself? What are you talking about? Um, you know, during sex, at the time, you said you, you always needed to help yourself in order to reach climax. And uh, then, when you were yelling at me, you said that was a lie. <laughs> what, what happened to pretending we, we never had sex? Okay, I'm over that. What, why are you still thinking about are this? Are you kidding? I have barely stopped thinking about it. <laughs> All right, listen, listen. I was just trying to hurt your feelings because you hurt mine. It was a low blow. I apologize. I don't buy it. Mm -mm. I have been around long enough to figure out girls are most honest when they're trying to hurt someone's feelings. It is not at all unusual for me to need to help myself. But Feel better? You don't always have to. No, not always. So what did I do wrong? Ugh, you didn't do anything wrong. It's just how people sync up. How they fit together. And we didn't sync up well. Did you think we did? But, I mean, that's not, it's not unusual. I mean, that is how it is the first time with someone new. You're awkward with each other. You're I'm sure. You're afraid to say anything. I mean, it's not like that changes after the first time. I mean, yeah, they get to know what you like more eventually, but there's never really a time to talk about it openly because guys are so sensitive. I mean, you suggest doing one little thing different and then... They are freaking out because they're mad at you because you didn't say something sooner. They think you've been thinking it the whole time, but you didn't say anything sooner because it was still the getting to know you stage and it would have been too soon. So you just, there's never a time to talk about the stuff openly. Instead, you just try to train them to recognize different levels of moans without them realizing you're doing it.